Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're all well. Thought we'd do a little bit of a different video again today. I had the most incredible response on my four week transformation video, which I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who left a really lovely comment. I just showed loads of support on that video because I was so nervous to upload it. Like I very nearly didn't post it to be honest because I was just like so out of my depth with it, but I'm very glad I did. So here I am again today out of my depth. Again, I wasn't really sure to post a video like this, but do you know what? I feel like it's part of the process, it's part of the journey, it's something for me to look back on as well as I go through like my fitness journey, I guess. I'm basically going to be talking you guys through my gym routine. And when I say my gym routine, this, is, this isn't what I do every single time I go to the gym. Um, it's basically just what I did on one particular day. So pretty much most of the time when I go to the gym, I focus on legs and bum. Um, I usually do pretty much only weights. I don't really do any cardio at all. So I kind of alternate between like upper body and and bum, legs, all of that good stuff. But I do just wanna say a quick disclaimer. Okay, I'm still very much a beginner at the gym. I am not an expert in fitness. I am not an expert in anything gym related, anything nutrition related. This is pretty much what has just been working for me, what I've really enjoyed doing, and what I'm seeing results with, I guess, because you know, my bum's got a little bit perkier, if I do say so myself. So please don't take it too seriously, okay? I'm not telling you guys, like, this is exactly what you have to do. Um, there's people on YouTube that are very much professionals and experts in fitness and all of that good stuff. So feel free to kind of look around for more expert advice if you would like to. If you're watching this and you are more of an expert in fitness or you're a PT or whatever it may be, feel free to leave your advice and all of that good stuff in the comments, but please be nice. But yeah, so in a nutshell, um, on this particular day, I wanted to work glutes, my bum, my booty, and some of the workouts did also work my quads a little bit as well. And in terms of time, I was in the gym for about 45 minutes on this day. I actually left it really last minute. Um, and we literally had like the last 45 minutes before it shot. So I tried to do as much as I could. So recently I've really been enjoying doing some glute activation exercises as a warm up when I'm gonna be doing legs and bum. Yeah, this is something that I've started doing as I've been like researching more and watching more videos from other people on YouTube. And I do find that this makes such a big difference. So on this particular day, I was doing glute bridges, which I'll insert a little clip off here. Um, I did also include a resistance band for an extra little bit of tension. Basically at the top of the motion I would also include kind of like a little hip abduction I would say just to add a little bit of tension, a little bit of extra movement um, just to again engage my glutes a little bit more. I always 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 squeeze at the top as well like I always squeeze my bum. You will notice when you're watching this like all the videos of the different things that I'm doing. I always squeeze my bum and it's so unattractive but it genuinely makes the biggest difference. But yeah I really like doing it glute bridges. I also really like doing donkey kicks as a glute activation as well um, and also things like fire hydrants and a couple of sets of like squats again with resistance bands. I then went into doing sumo deadlifts which I kind of alternate between um, like a stiff leg deadlift and a sumo deadlift depending what I'm feeling on that particular day. I did four sets um, of 10 and at the start I did 30 kg and then I moved up to 40 kg for the rest of the sets. I tried to go quite slow on the way down and then fast on the way up just to make sure I'm really, really burning um, my legs and my bum. When I'm doing these, I'm pretty much just concentrating on keeping a really straight back because you don't want to be arching your back or putting any tension on your back. I noticed that I was doing this quite a lot when I first started out and I would often end up with a really sore lower back. So I'm always just trying to keep my back as new neutral as possible. Next up is hip thrusts and hip thrusts are hands down my favorite, 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 favorite thing to do if I want to really work my bum. There's just nothing that does it like hip thrusts, I feel like. I feel like they're really good in terms of an isolation workout as well because 
they don't really work out anything else except your glutes so i really really love doing these so again i did four sets of 10 with these um i started at 40 kg just as like a little warm-up on the first set and then i did three sets of 80 which i think 80 is probably the heaviest i've done so far i really want to get to 100 by the end of the month i really like doing a 10 second hold on the last rep of these as well for each individual set or i'll just hold it for as long as i can on the last rep um i just feel like again it really engages the muscle really like works the muscle helps to you know build that perky bum <laughs> if you are new to the gym and you don't want to be faffing about with the weights and stuff because trust me that is me sometimes when i'm by myself um i have also seen people do these with the leg curl machine for example so you can pretty much just adjust via the machine and do it that way as well which is really useful okay next up um, I did a little super set of lunges and goblet squat. So it's actually interesting watching myself do these lunges because I feel like I definitely take my strides too large, which is something I'm going to note for next time. It's good to just add a little bit of extra weight if you want to. The thing that I really like about lunges as well is it really gets my heart rate up a lot because I don't really do any intense cardio. I do like to do some exercises that will really still get my heart rate up. But yeah, I basically did... I don't know how many lunges it will be, but I did a full length there and back. And then I did 10 goblet squats with a 10 kg dumbbell as well. These literally killed me. Like at the end of doing this, I was like, you know what? I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home. They really do work your quads as well. Um, so I feel like if you're going to do just glute workouts and you probably wouldn't need to include these because they're definitely more of a quad focused activity but i personally really like doing them i really like including them i also really love doing um bulgarian split squats which i feel like are more glute focused like i said i definitely did my strides a little bit too wide i feel like with my lunges i feel like i was just trying to get them over and done with as much as possible so i was just taking ginormous steps but yeah i still feel like they work really well and in terms of goblet squats i always hold the weight like at the center right at my chest and I try and keep my elbows tucked in so that I can get a really really deep squat okay next up I moved on to the hip abduction machine which I always love doing if I'm doing a bum day at the gym if you like me and you have hip dips I feel like every single person on the planet has hip dips they're a very natural thing to have um so please don't get upset if you have hip dips I feel like there's so many people and celebrities in the media now that have promoted having like a really curvy figure and stuff but naturally like we all have hip dips it's just part of the friggin human body but that being said you can still kind of work on getting a slightly curvier figure if you would like one in terms of your hips by doing things like hip abduction so in terms of weights and stuff on these i either like to do a drop set or just a normal kind of like three to four sets on a heavier weight kind of adjust where i'm sat on the machine sometimes i sit forward and sometimes i sit back into the seat it kind of just depends how i'm feeling but yeah i either like to do a drop set where i'll start heavy and do maybe like six reps and then drop down a little bit do eight drop again and do 10 and then drop and do as many as i can to finish and do that three times on this particular day i did three sets of a heavyish weight um just because i was running out of time and i didn't have time to do a full-on drop set and faff about with all of that so i just did three sets instead of 10 reps you can also use the cable machine to do hip abductions if you prefer that um, you can do them with resistance bands just at like body weight and then very last but not least i would have maybe done a little bit more if i'd had the time um but to be honest i felt like i really pushed myself in this session and you'll see in the clips i was literally ready to smart at this point i was exhausted i just finished off with the stairmaster which i sometimes like to do if i just want to completely kind of like blitz myself at the end of a session <laughs> i kind of just alternate in terms of what speed i'm doing um sometimes i'll do like mini kickbacks so on this particular day i did a minute of normal walking on the stairmaster and then i did a minute of walking with also like small kickbacks on each leg basically did this until the guy at our gym was kicking us out <laughs> so i pretty much just did this to finish off i have to say i got home and i was pretty friggin tired so i feel like it was a good effective session but yeah that is pretty much what i did in that particular gym session i then came home and i had a vegan protein shake with if you guys want to see any meals or whatever obviously i'm doing a full video on being vegan for 30 days but if you want to see like 
a what I eat in a day for example let me know and I can do that always really important to eat after the gym even if it's super late like I literally got home at I think it was like half 10 we got home because the gym shut about 10 so even at that time like I'll still make sure I have some form of protein and a little bit of carbs after the gym just to help my body refuel and build muscle. <laughs> if you guys want to see another video like this do let me know. Um, as I said I'm not an expert but I'm just sharing what I'm enjoying doing and what is working for me. If you've got any tips do let me know because I'm always all ears. Um, but yeah I'm gonna get going. It's actually Valentine's Day when I'm filming this and me and my boyfriend are going to the Lake District for the night which I'm so excited about. Girls going on a date night okay. <laughs> I love you guys as always. I will see you very soon and thank you for watching. <laughs>